Good morning! Hi girls! Are you waiting on breakfast? Hey buddy! Had to go retrieve him off the front porch. He was really sleepy this morning, but he's doing good. Hey Gray! They've had their food. We're getting ready to settle in for coffee, paper, computer time. These guys over here are working on the building again. We'll be outside working just a little later. So, so, the FedEx guy came sure on a did. Sunday? On a Sunday, yeah. That's, uh, and he first. brought my cushion? He brought your cushion. My other cushion. Yeah, the you now have two cushions. Now, now I I've... saw the blue, so it, I mean, uh, the uh, it, it looked fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. I can't wait to put it. That'll give me something to do while you're futzing with those bases. Yeah. for the tool stands which is yeah. on our agenda today yeah that's right i'm gonna fix dawn another breakfast another midday meal i gotta cook for johnny those sausages again and it's uh, gonna make the house smell yummy yeah we do really good with not caring about not eating in the middle of the day except for when there's like to die for food smell and it's been a little hot on us out there in the heat so i'm trying to get dawn yeah. i'm trying to take care of us a little bit because of the heat yeah, plus we didn't eat a lot. I had guac and um Right, we had a very small time. dinner. Well yeah. we had we had Dairy Queen. Right. So I'm if sure. I dig today I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of anything I need to dig. Oh. Today you get fresh bacon oh boy. and sausage. Wow, look at that. Mm. Yum. Mm -hmm. Tub of bacon grease, fresh bacon. Woo. I'll be able to cook this week. Literally, I am handicapped if I do not have bacon grease to cook with. I have to start using beef tallow in a jar that I got at Whole Foods as a. It's okay. But it's it okay, but grease. it ain't bacon grease. <laughs> we had six cookie sheets full. We made. Uh, three pounds well, plus a little bit more than three pounds. There's six. I think they're a pound a piece. Okay. Well, we made three packs of bacon plus a few extra pieces. It was six That's cookie right. sheets worth. That's of course, right. we may have had hmm, a six few pieces. a few pieces. <laughs> That's not exactly how much is going in the refrigerator yeah, yeah. for use this week. Yes, considerably under three packs. I am taking Ruby to the environmental park before we get busy. We are going to get the tools in the shed today. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to work out there in the heat. Good afternoon, Ruby. And I'm also going to give you guys an update on Model Y pricing while I'm out and about. So I said I'd give everybody an update on the model y price change and um i want to start by saying that um don and i are still very excited to hear that we have a model y vin assigned and super stoked that a week from today we'll be picking up our model y uh, i also wanted to say that we really appreciate everybody reaching out either in youtube comments or um by email or other other methods to make sure we knew about the price decrease on the Model Y that was announced and uh, that, you know, we were being taken care of by Tesla if there was something to be taken care of. So this gets complicated and I never have notes when I talk to you guys. I'm always, Don and I are almost always off the cuff, but I did need to write down a couple of things uh, to keep myself straight. Electric has an article out there, but I have to say that I think that they didn't quite net things out for performance Model Y like they did for long range Model Y. Don and I have a white on white performance Model Y ordered and we have a contract price of $70,200, okay? And that includes a $1,200 documentation destination fee. All car sales have some sort of a fee and Tesla's flat fee is uh, $1,200, okay? So $70,200. But let's back up for just a minute, all right? Currently, um, the long range Model Y, the price decrease amount is 49,990. And it previously, according to Electrek, was 52,990. So that's where the 3K price decrease is coming, on, coming from. But I wanna say, again, highlight that that's for long range and also that, um, 
full self-driving has gone up from $7,000 to $8,000. So if you had a long range on order from say three months ago or from the reveal date and you were going to cancel it and reorder it today, your price savings would really only be $2,000 if it's a full self-driving car, not the $3,000 lifted, that extra $1,000 there. So I'm going to agree that there's a two to 3K price decrease on the long range model y all right but i went into my email account last night which is not the one that has our orders and cars under don's email has that stuff um and i configured a model y white on white performance um no tow hitch that wasn't uh, a feature and we don't want that feature on the y um and that came out to sixty eight thousand nine hundred and ninety all right if you add the twelve hundred dollar documentation and destination fee to that you get seventy thousand one hundred and ninety all right and let me just do on my calculator here seventy seventy um seventy thousand two hundred minus seventy thousand one ninety and you get ten dollars difference okay so there's really no there's really no difference for us um what i also want to say is that um on our contract it lists forty one thousand plus twenty thousand let me pull that up again how that's worded that is for uh, long range all wheel drive performance is 20 and just the base model Y is 41,000. They break it out like that in our contract. So that's $61,000. Well, the base model Y performance as shown on the website today is 59,990. Okay. So that's where the thousand dollars again for the full self driving difference and the $10 difference for the change that they made so it's 990 instead of the next whole number came from um this is the second time i've recorded this and i've tried to keep it as straight as possible but i'm pretty darn sure that it's a net out that we would only save ten dollars um and you have to take into account the uh full self-driving or not um for uh the our cost there again we're paying seven thousand dollars for full self-driving but currently the full self-driving is eight thousand dollars so it might would appear like the base car there's a thousand dollar savings there on performance but really for us there wouldn't be because again we're going for that full self-driving option i think i have that straight now so we won't be making any changes or contacting tesla we don't expect tesla to change the final contract price or anything we'll keep an eye out and an ear out but i'm pretty sure um that any thousand k savings on a performance model y is a wash for us because of the full self driving and hopefully i sort of that was as clear as it could be because i don't think if i record it a third time it'll be any clearer you get the gist so the first thing Don wanted to try today to see if the casters that swivel, if they could go on the inside. And he okay. says that's a bust. That's a bust. And he's frowning because that's, it's a bust. That right. would have made things a lot simpler. Right, yes. You can either, these things can either point out this way or that way. And that's it. And even if you flip them upside down, they don't do the other way. So I've taken the... the Anyway, the point is, unfortunately, because this thing over here is welded, you can't. Right. You can't reverse these things either. So, well, I mean, the, the point is, uh, the the with this metal plate, the bottom line is that um, what is it? Symmetry, uh, mirroring. There's this thing Johnny did. Reflexivity. Re that kind of stuff. The, 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 all those principles that I don't quite understand and just know that's the way it works out. They're, they're kicking in here right so we're going to put a piece of wood now That's right. inside gonna, we're going to cut some plywood i'm going to cut a piece of plywood well first of all i'm going to measure the radio arm saw probably I'll start with that because that is the most heavy critical thing that you know so i'm going to start with the radio arm saw 
and uh, it has an adjustable, uh, if you may or may not remember, it's sitting on one of those Harbor Freight. Yeah, it has a stand. Stands, and they have the ability to, to a little bit to adjust the sp spray of the legs. Uh, yeah, just inch. move the screws up at the move bottom. Move the screw up, yeah, so yeah. they'll get closer. Uh, of course, that means it won't be as tall, but the height of that is not such a, an important thing. So anyway, we're going to uh, use that as our guinea pig. And uh, what I'm thinking, in case I have not made it clear, um, using this as a pointer, is that I'm going to let this come, this, this width right here where this leg is, is actually going to sit on top. Because I'm going to cut the wood so the wood goes to the edge of this wheel. I'm going to notch it in such a manner that this still operates, okay? This brake still operates. It may have to flip the brake. The brake does not have to go here. The brake can go there. Uh, the brake can go on this this edge or that edge. It doesn't matter. And the plywood can come on, on top of this piece here for a little bit too. So we can slide the thing back, backwards. It doesn't have to jam up in this corner. So between those all those things, I'm hoping that that's going to solve our dilemma because I think that thing is... 30 and a half inches wide, right? Let me get my tape. Yeah, I think it's 30 and a half. Yeah, I think it's 30 and a half inches, and we have 28 and a half inches, so we've got to lose two inches. Two, at least, you know, <laughs> two inches. So, so uh, measuring from the outside of the wheel to the outside of the wheel, it's 30 inches plus a little bit. So that's why I said 30 the, and a half. Yeah, the would bolt work. is down there, yeah. sticks out a little farther yeah, than looks, the metal. Out, right, so 30 and a half. And as I said, I've got this sprayed, you know, maximum width on that right there is, it's only 26 inches. So in theory, in theory, if we had a piece of plywood, we could squeeze this in to 26 inches, right? And the plywood would sit right on top of this. And this is plenty strong and there's holes there. I could bolt it down. The plywood's not going to shift. And as I said, if I possibly spin these 90 degrees or something anyway we'll see uh, what we can do and put those brakes in a different spot and um, might be only 26 inches so that would be wonderful 26 inches is two inches less than we need all right I'm, my fingers Finger, are crossed right. so the key thing because we like, love the building minus this little problem with the door I mean sure it could be a foot taller but right. we really don't plan to do anything in the building. It's just going to push these things in and pull these things out. The building doesn't need to be yeah, super that's tall. So 63 inches, and of course this is actually up high, a little bit higher. I think it's uh, 50 inches. Uh, I mean 60 inches here. So technically we're three inches too high too. Three inches too high, but we can let it down. It goes 61 inches. 61 inches. And the other thing we've got to do, I uh, I got to get my um, Cut off tool out, and we got to whack off these these this little piece of metal that sticks in front right. of the, the the door. The yeah. door. Otherwise, the wheels are going to bang on that and get caught. So I want to. I'm going to build a small little ramp to go that two and a half inches up, or maybe we just lift it. I don't know yet, but certainly um, maneuvering it through the door without these things, and they're not really doing any good because when you do the door the front of it wiggles and maybe maybe uh, that's oh we'll see it's past halfway it only has to go halfway here's your halfway point right there yeah so the, if we cut even if there's plenty of door left in the wall there's plenty of door captured in the rear yep channel so it really isn't going to change the front that much anyway yep. so um anyway the, all the little battles and struggles and tribulations We'll let you know at the end of the day if we get all the stuff in the... Sh if all of the stuff is in there at the end of the day, we'll call her good. And if not, then we'll be crying in our beer tonight after... Uh, right. Before dinner. But one other thing that lasts... I'm sorry, it gets so long-winded. But the... Um, I haven't been worrying about the length. In other words, the width to get through the door is what I've been worrying about. I have not been worrying about the length. But I plan to make the length as short as possible... Because when you try to turn this thing inside of this building, yeah, um, you run out of room really fast. So uh, I found this one at this length, and I just slapped it together, uh, was difficult to maneuver. So 
uh, taking a couple inches out of this length here would be a good idea. Would be a good idea. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm going to make the frame as small as I can get it that it will still accommodate the the, the stand. stand. That's what I'm going and to do. not be so low when you work with the tools that you're constantly right. mad. That's right. So there are a lot of screws in here that have sharp points. Not that we're going to have any toddlers in here playing around or that we're really likely to run into them, but the shed did um, come with these caps to go on top of the screws. So Don's giving me a nut driver and I'm going to try to go around and work on this while he's working on that. I told Don I can't work in a dungeon. Yeah. I was starting to get moody. dark in here. Yeah, so he's brought me plenty of LED. Yeah. I'm like, we got all these battery operated lights. Yeah. I'm I need something. All LED. I even replaced the incandescent bulb in this Ryobi with a uh, with an LED. That's actually an LED in there now. Way cool. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you. It's welcome. much better. It yeah. makes a big difference. I can. Yeah. 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 I'm done with all the little caps. You can see uh, where they ended up. I offered to do the silicone caulk inside the shed that Don wanted done if he'd just show me where he wanted it. And let's just say I have the appreciation for how hard it was for Don the other day to use that stuff and I hope to never have to use silicone caulk again. Just, just leaving it there. Yep. If you think it looks easy or why doesn't it look neater or any of that other stuff, you'll just have to go do it on your own. And the learning curve is high with that stuff, I think. I think that's what I want to say. Well, let's put it this way. That's not, the latex caulk is easy to work, easier to work with because a damp rag will fix take, an fix air. It. But the silicone damp rags don't do anything. Yeah. So, um. Uh, I don't think it'll leak and we won't go scrutinizing my artwork. No, we won't. We, we won't it's not a masterpiece. Well, if I'd have known you wanted to go for a skateboard ride, I'd have charged up the longboard, Donnie. No. But this one's got dual brakes. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't want to have to bend over to push them while it was rolling very fast. <laughs> the old cushions are off. I've wiped everything down with a wet rag. Don offered that we could paint it, but... I can't think of a color I'd really rather paint it and it's not really rusting. Remember, this was free. Okay, the operative word is free and it is sturdy. And uh, now it's time to put on the new cushions. Gee, this is going to be great in our living room. <laughs> wow, I don't know, man. I like this better than I think I'm liking this better than I... I like the... Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Come grow old with oh. me. The best is yet to be. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> Go get me a brew beer, please. I'll yep. put a YouTube TV thing right here. Right. Or we could just plug in the, oh, the yeah, show no, the show no, eight no, out no. here and watch some YouTubes. Oh, I'm good. Is it good? It's very comfortable. Okay. Oh, Tuxie's come up from down the hill. <laughs> Tuxie! Oh. Hey, bud! Here, you sit on the thing and check her out. Okay. My girl, she did really well. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, nice back support. Yeah. The only thing this thing's missing, maybe they make a cup holder that... Oh, of course they make a cup holder. Oh, yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty comfy, though. Yeah. I didn't tie them on because Don's not done making sawdust, and I may have to throw them in the back yeah. of the van until he's done yeah. for the day. And this then... Is, did I ever tell you, you see this garage? <laughs> that garage is the result of what this girl said. She calls me up on the phone. She says, Don, there's this particle board piled up on the side of the road the cabinet shop's going out of business and they put a big sign up free why don't you I go get what i can into the back of my van yeah. there's a lot left over there on the pile and so that that garage is a result of free particle board so this couch this lounge thing free now i've got like a hundred and something bucks into it right now and more is on the way it's what happens when you get things for free. How much the cushions cost is between me I don't, and me. I, I just tell her. Just don't tell don't me. Don't tell him. Just don't tell me. I it's don't. nice, though. They're pretty comfy. Yeah, it's beautiful. I have to say, I'm impressed. Yeah, it gives the whole shed, carport, you know. Yeah. Like, you want to hang out over here with yeah. Don while he's well, working. Well, my contribution is the little... He pressure treated it. wood with notches in it so it doesn't sink down into the mud anymore. Yeah. 
ground's too hard and it's too hot today to be digging them any lower. Yeah, back. yeah. Well, know, it could be. Over time, they'll yeah, blend in. They'll better. blend in. That's right. <laughs> You're using that fancy tool I got you. Yeah, it made a contour of the um, the the metal down there, the yeah, thresholds. Threshold. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. So I can draw a line. See where, See where you need to cut it. So she's going to get to see a yet another tool she's never seen before. Fine tool. With a bimetal blade, so hopefully it will cut through that last little bit. Way cool. We'll find out. Will there be more sparks? Probably. And um, <laughs> But I didn't pay a lot for these blades. I think I bought like a dozen different blades uh, for um, like 12 bucks. They're about a buck a piece. So we'll if you see. ruin them, who cares? Yeah, pretty much. Don't have to cry over it. That's right. So we're down to what size opening now? 29, uh, 28, 28 and three quarters. 28 and three quarters. So that's the, that's it. And so, um, that's all there is and there ain't no more. So I was correcting my little, uh, screw uh, dilemma inside the doors here. And I was thinking, um, about, um, Marianne said that, um, she did the video earlier that there's really only a thousand or a thousand ten dollar difference on the performance now than what we paid but that thousand dollars gets wiped out if you buy full self-driving so there's really a net ten dollar difference to us so yes we're, we're just you got that right we're, we're just forgetting so but what I, I told her I said look the, it's the, not a Model Y uh, demand problem. Right. It's a. I th I'm thinking Elon did it. Is basically right now Ford and, and to Ford's credit, it's been getting a lot of positive press about the um, Mach E and how great it's going to be and all that stuff. So Elon just threw down and says, "Well, and now by the way, you make that Mach E, that base one that you're talking about, three thousand dollars cheap. You know that price you had. You had this picture of a price in your mind, Ford." just go on and it's going to you're going to have to go at least down 3000 and by the time the e east maki ships this could be that $7500 just may be difference in the two prices because of the tax credit may be non-existent and i don't think he's worried about the performance which is why he didn't cut the price of the performance as much as, as much. the long range because <laughs> if you want that maki performance hot rod thing you're going to pay those dealers, they're going to demand 20 grand markup for a while. You'll be able to get one in a couple of years. They'll probably give you one. But um, that initial GT model or whatever the uh, Mach E that's, um, is that right? Am I saying it? Mach E? Mach -E performance, the super duper one that's supposed to be so fast. You know, it won't be as fast as the Model Y performance. And oh, by the way, it'll probably end up costing you at least $20,000 more. So enjoy it. <laughs> the things we talk about yeah, yeah, yeah. while we work outside. It's actually really pleasant over here yeah. right now. So, are we ready to try? Yeah, we're ready to try. Okay. All this for that. So, here we go. Yeah, well, this is... Well, the JB's piece of equipment upstairs, we won't, which we won't be bringing down until JB comes because you need another guy to get that down. Yeah. That is the other big piece, but... Well, we got to lower, lower this a little bit. Right, you said it was borderline there. Now remember, we don't have a ramp. Don has learned a ton in moving this one, so the next one should be a lot smoother, just saying. 
Yeah, this platform. You know, I only made like three mistakes with this platform. You learned. Yeah, yeah, I learned stuff. And so, oh, I guess, I guess we should. I don't know. Which way is better to go in? Yeah. I'm the gonna, casters that move first or I, not? Well, I don't have a ramp. If I had a ramp, I think it would be different. So right. I'm gonna just do this. And y'all cross your fingers. My, fits. my fingers are crossed. I really need. For, oh, it's still. Oh, oh. Ah, we're gonna have to go down more. Oh, God. Well, it's kind of the lean because the front is um yeah. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to come hold it. Well, okay. Have to set it back out. This part yeah, just or the whole thing? It, just keep it from tipping. It's okay, I got, got it. it. Very I've got it. Got it. Oh, you got to come out here and crank it. You got to come crank it from this side. Yeah, I got to come crank it from this side. Sweetie. Okay. I got it. Well, it does come down a bunch more. Yeah, normally, obviously, there's no reason to crank it this far in between uses, but if it'll make it fit, we'll do what we got to do at this point. Y'all feel a little sorry for us, right? Yeah, yeah. That we went through all this work just to store these three or four pieces of equipment and uh all right she's looking she's looking good she's looking good nobody can't drive we're gonna have to take this off. i think about my table yeah but that's no big deal yeah. your fence your yeah i got more room on one side than the other Does that handle come down? No, you just have to lower it even more. Be nice to me. You're enjoying <gasps> this, aren't you? I'm so sorry. You're the one that wanted these. <laughs> and they're so cute. They're cute as they can be. Well, I thought they were safe, is what I thought. The platform seemed really stable and really safe. Well, you know, honestly, Let's just say, what, maximum we're going to take these out of here twice a month? Right. Well, so, it doesn't, I mean, we want it to be as easy as possible, but it doesn't have to be super easy. We're not going to be taking them out once a day and putting them right. back. We're a couple times a month, three days a month at the most, of some project we want to do. Right. My, my intent is to put the planer on top of JB's table saw. Right. And the chop saw on top of my table saw. And so it's the chop saw that I'm more likely to use. To so it'll go in last down at this door. And my table saw is light. JB's table saw is, is heavy. heavy. And so between the lightness of the, my table saw, even with the chop saw on top of it, should be pretty maneuverable. Yeah. And you should be able to... I should be able to like pull it out, wheel it over there, plug it in, saw, and then put it back in. And that will be the last thing in. Loaded, thing out. sure. So, yeah. So that's my, that's my thinking. I mean, I can be, I can be proven wrong. Well, you got that in without a ramp. I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, well, I think a little ramp would make it a little easier. But it wasn't bad. No, it, it was wasn't. totally doable without the ramp. So right, that's a plus. To, yeah, other than the fact I have to now like totally crank it way down. Yeah. That just, was my head, don't worry. <laughs> that was the first of many, many bangs. So we could put that in the center. Yeah, I had the idea of laying the threshold down that we didn't install. And Don's got the idea of, well, I could just put this small piece in the center to catch the door, you know, mounted at the right spot. And when the carts go over top, they'll never hit that. Yeah, the wheels are always going to be on yeah, the Yeah, that looks pretty good, too. I like that idea also. Well, we got new hand, fancy handles. Yep. Yep, yep. Recessed handles. They'll be here Tuesday. So Don says tomorrow he'll take off the metal on the other side, which means he's got to take the door trim off to get to where he can cut the metal. He'll build the... fix the platform for this guy and a couple other things. He's learned a lot today, so tomorrow shouldn't be so stressful. Well, I hopefully won't. I made my mistakes today. And, um... 
tomorrow hopefully it'll be straightforward and I won't have to deal with so many boo-boos. Well, the uh, great ball contraptions, balls, did come. I had ordered the 100 pack and the ones that had red and green and blue mixed in with the white. These are not Lego pieces. Um, the Lego specific ones are so expensive. You don't want to try to buy those. And I thought maybe my kids at robotics, we would try some of these. So I wanted to make sure I had enough balls. So let me load it up and let's see how it works. All right. Don's here to record so I can hold it and crank it at the same time. I would say that the gearing is not quite as smooth as I would like it to be. It seems like the balls can kind of get like halfway maybe and then it blocks it. But it's working pretty good. It's working pretty good. I'll turn it around and you can swatch it from this side. Remember the balls are in the shaft, this tall shaft. And then when enough, when it gets up to the top, it pushes one out. So it's working. And I could hook a motor up to it and that might make it run a little more smoothly than me hmm. cranking it. Anyway, pretty cool, huh? Yep, way cool. Yeah, Don was reading me something this morning where doctors were saying it was um, your chances of getting it were worse now if you were going out places than it was back in March when we were all being so careful. And... Um, I got to make a decision if I'm going to Whole Foods Tuesday or not.